Woman King. Woman, the Woman King. I have watched several reviews, and I have also noticed that there are several people that I normally watch for reviews, just for background noise, but several people that I normally watch for reviews who have not done a review on The Woman King, and they are usually up on reviews hmm. before we see it, or at least right at that date. Were these movies that they usually see majority white cast? I'm just going to say <laughs> some of these mild topics is based in Austin and oh, uh, so they were majority. <laughs> I don't know the reason why they haven't done the review on it yet. It could be a, it could be any reason. All I know is Usually, and this is an action movie, mm -hmm. they are up on it when it comes to reviews for movies. So, um, what do you think? As far as uh, pacing of the movie, as far as fight scene, mm. as far as the overall narrative, whether you are from the school of, it sucked because it's not historically accurate, Doug, or, you know, you're just like, oh, it's like the same old monarchy you know, shit that people just find a way to nitpick the death and shit with the fight scenes and the narratives. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. And that's damn near perfect for me. I mean, damn near perfect for me. Because I'll be in that, you know, 7.5, 8.5, 9 Yeah, 7.5 to 9. Like if I really, really like it. Yeah, yeah. You know? But this nine, this nine point five. Okay. Nine point five. That's high. As, that's that's. Hey, that's a half point away from perfect. Let me tell you something about the Woman King. I saw my family on screen. You got a main character who does not look like no traditional. She ain't Anna Damaris or whatever the hell her name is. Mm -hmm. Who did a great job in fucking No Time to Die. Mm -hmm. uh, she ain't the girl from Prey. Mm -hmm. She ain't Gal Gadot. My family is on screen. And that's just beautiful. That was beautiful to see, okay? And then you got the fighting in this movie. Now. Shout out to 8711. Is that okay? Looking back at Prey, hey, and I ain't even, oh, you just, okay, let's, let's throw two in there. Let's throw a man and a woman in there. Looking at Prey, looking at John Wick. All right, let's look at both of them, okay? This movie's better than both of them. Fight choreography wise, everything else, hey, that's uh, what do you call uh, subjective. Mm -hmm. Fight choreography wise, objectively, fight telling the story, Woman King is better than John Wick and Prey. I'm gonna tell you why. In Prey, you see, I can't remember that girl's name, but her name was Naru or something in the movie. And she goes from absolutely nothing to Winter Soldier and beating up, well, I don't know, six, seven people at the same time. John Wick goes from chilling in his house to you killed my dog and now winter soldier to to do the shit that he does in that movie i need to see scenes of him smoking crack or no doing cocaine in order for him to keep going the way he's going or Without every tiring. or at least every time he's not doing that he, i need to see him on a treadmill i need to see him punching hitting the bag i need to see him doing something that makes me believe he can be a winter soldier Naru, same motherfucking thing. All right, got me now. I'm, my voice is doing the Richard Pryor shit. Uh, in but in the Woman King, you see them beat ass, and it and it ain't even it ain't it's more grounded than Winter Soldier when they beat ass, so it's even better. But how does she do that? Around the movie, five minutes, you see her training. They didn't do the '80s training montage. They made the the, the training a part of the movie. So you, it's it's a part of the narrative. It's a part of the character development where you see, and then it's like you can have your arguments with that shit too. It's like, oh man, well they came in there three days ago and then they learned how to kill grown ass men in 20, 30 minutes if you put everything together. Whatever. It's not hard to use a sword, people. They, they had some great sword. trainers. Yes. <laughs> you yes. know what I'm saying? But it don't, yeah, it don't take that long, Kifo. It don't, it don't. It's, if y'all would show y'all behinds up to class, Saturdays, 
I enjoy seeing my family on screen. I learned how to fight from a lot of different places, but guess what one of those places was? My damn cousins. And 90% of my cousins are female. The only cousin I had that was a male was two days away. So when I was training to fight with my cousins, I was training to fight with my female cousins. Getting kicked and slapped and, and just yep, over and, shit. and made fun of. Okay? In a cousinly way. Like they did in the movie. Okay, so and also what I love is okay, the girl that goes the the girl the main girl, the main little girl, the young girl mm -hmm. that goes there to learn to train and stuff, mm -hmm. right? Um she has a not it's not even a rival. Like this movie has a lot of cliches. And you can compare it to a lot of things. Just like I say Black Panther is basically Rocky Three, and you look at the freaking, you know, hi auntie, that scene is Club Lang coming up to the podium and saying, Why don't you fight me then? Why don't you why don't you fight me then? Hey woman. Same scene. Black Panther loses <laughs> I've never his, looked at it like that, but yes. Black Panther loses his first fight. Rocky loses his first fight with uh uh uh, uh Club Lang. Club Lang. Mr. T. Because he was Mr. Somebody died. Who died? Mickey, because Mr. T pushed him. Uh, uh, killed, Killmonger killed Zuri. Bam. And then who who does he end up on the front doorstep of? His arch rival. Apollo Creed is the person who trains Rocky to go and beat Mr. T. I don't need to say no more. But <laughs> but I am going to say. I never looked at it like that. <laughs> High five, man. Damn you old. This movie has a lot of cliches, but a lot of, but it doesn't use any of the cliches that usually piss me off because she had what could have been a rival in the movie, and in the typical movies, there's always a rival. You know, the, the little cute girl with the uh, with the her hair was like yeah, the model yeah, girl. Little, yeah. yeah, she didn't she didn't do the thing where she sucks at everything, and then at the end she just happens to be better than everybody. Right? Else. No, no, no. She started training, and the girl who was better at certain stuff than her, they helped. They still helped, they helped each, each other. other in the movie, and when she was able to out. She beat her in that race. Yeah. They were still cool. That, yeah, it was like, it was face sibling like, rivalry. Yes. That's what it was. And so, that remember that one girl that was actually uh, a little older, that had already gotten blooded and had already had her uniform right. on? She was like, you this, 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 and this. And you could tell she was one of the, she was new. She had just been introduced. She had just been taken in mm -hmm. officially. Mm -hmm. But she still had beef with that little girl because they were from rival sets, basically, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then... When she crossed over, and and she, you know, what happened on the battlefield helped on happened on the battlefield. She was standing right next to her. That was her sister. Like, and that happens within our community a whole lot. Like, we take in people that would normally hate us. I didn't like this motherfucker. Fuck this dude. But we, but I bro, love we brothers. I love. Him. Right. I don't like him, but and I love. You, him. It, 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 I touch hate. him if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Touch him if you want to. Be the last goddamn thing you do. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes several times in this movie. Uh, the fight choreography brought tears to my eyes because it actually told a story. Uh, it wasn't just suddenly I'm the Winter Soldier, right? Uh, and I and every time I every time I see that in a movie, I be wanting to ask like I, <laughs> I be wanting to ask like fucking Zool and shit. Are you a god? No. Why are you fighting like one then? All right, so she gets stabbed in the arm. She fighting the dude that's twice her size. Yeah, she but it didn't last long after she got stabbed in the arm. Not to mention she got that mother protecting her child strength kicking in. Okay, I'm going to let that shit go. I'm going to let it go. It works for me, Jack. And then when you see her child come up, ooh, when, it, when, when, when the child came up and started just killing folks, and she just sat there and watched. Get him! That's my baby. Oh. That's my baby. Oh! Piggybacking off that, um, there haven't been too, too many movies where I've seen, because, you know, again, it's been done the whole, I, you're, you're, my, you're my child, yeah. I'm just now finding out that you're my child, yeah. um, and we're going to have this connection, and, and then the kid is like, oh, I'll die. how dare you throw me in the trash, and shit like that, you know, and then the mother is like, uh-uh, it's like, nah, man, like, that moment where she was like, I didn't want to give you up, but had to because they would have uh, they would have kicked me out. We both would be dead, and I wanted you to have a fighting chance. And here you are, and you mine. And that whole when she grabbed that motherfucker's face before before she found out that 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 she was the one one, and she grabbed her face like, look at me. That's my mama. That's my mama. That's all of my aunts. That's all of them. There are a lot of people who. 
may not be the, uh, uh, the same from the same culture, may not be black, that may like this movie but not come fully around to liking it the way we like it because maybe the cultures are different and I can completely understand that. But we're seeing something that we don't see very often. I can't think of the last movie I saw something like this. Not even in Black Panther. No. Black, Black Panther was a comic book movie. Yeah. This movie was based off of a book that was based off of the life of the Dahomey. So, of course, the book is not historically as... Yeah. The movie ain't as historically accurate as the book, and the book ain't as historically accurate as reality. Right. So. And, hey, there may have been some things. They, they've... Uh, Changed the narrative on some things, mm -hmm. maybe from the history, mm -hmm. and the history was a lot darker in certain areas. We're not gonna get into it, uh, and it may be some falsifying if there's any falsifying. But that's yeah. all Hollywood. Cinema. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let the shit slide. This is I, and just you know, hey, strike, strike one. Try not to do it again next time or whatever. But we got our first big bad black woman whooping ass on screen starring cast survive movie the last thing the last time we had something to this level of like like black like fighting was shaka zulu even though he didn't even come in until like what halfway through the mini series right. like it really became about him and conquering um, South Africa and the Zulus, right? But we ain't had this level of like, God damn, we ain't had it since then. That's over what thirty years ago. I gotta give it up to Viola Davis. I gotta give it up to Juvie Production. Shout out to Julius Tennant, ATX boy. My ranking for the Woman King. I, I, I hey. I'm just on my own in my heart. I'm giving this motherfucker the same goddamn thing. A nine what? point five. Nine point goddamn five. We're tired? Man, you don't know how that close is... I am to ten. Nine point five. Wow. And I know it's cliche. And I know it's been done before. Well, it ain't, it ain't been, done been done like done this. Before. Like that. No. No, no, no. It ain't been done, but that first yeah. Nine point five. Goddamn, nine point five. Motherfucker. God damn it. Shit, man. Shit, give me some skin. That's the end of the shit. <laughs> give me some skin. That's yeah. the end. Rap. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>